three, four. called La Bastrang and I recorded that particular tune something like 11 years ago. Anyway I received a request from Jocelyn on Facebook asking me if I could just kind of slow down the B section of that tune and make a little sort of tutorial lesson on how I uh, play the tune. So here goes. Um I think it's in the key of D. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll play through it slowly and then when we get onto the B section I'll try and explain exactly what I play and show you that the method that I use to actually play the notes quite quickly. That bit. Anyway, so I'll just take it through from the A section of the tune first. There's quite a swing to this tune, being a French-Canadian tune. I always think of um, the French-Canadian fiddle players who sort of tap their feet at the same time. Um, I'm not sure if it's called Quebecois. That might be the bad, badly pronounced name. But anyway, it's a style that you probably are aware of and it gives a great vitality to, to um, their fiddle playing. And so I try and introduce a little bit of a swing into this tune to try and emulate uh, that when I play La Basse String. And it goes like this. A section, take it a tad slower perhaps, three, four. Okay, so a little bit faster now, three, four. Now I play two notes there. What I'm doing is playing the first, the first note on the E string, which is the F of course, the F sharp. And then I'm also droning the A. But I'm sliding up to that F sharp <coughs> with my, my first finger on the E string. And then I play the open A at the same time. Now sometimes I hit a nice double stop there um, where I put my ring finger down on the third note of the A string which is the note D and my first finger is on the F sharp again on the E string gives me that double stop so I'll show you where I put that in that's where I put it in okay so we'll try and wrap the whole thing up together so we'll play the A section again three four Uh, a 
another thing I do there, you might have noticed, I put those in. Now I think Natalie McMaster um, gave me the name for those. I met her in, um, in Morecambe when she came across to the UK and played for an evening. I went up there to watch her playing with her band. And what a superb fiddle player she is. Anyway, uh, Natalie McMaster, on one of her tutorial videos that I seem to have knocking about somewhere, because I greatly, I greatly admire her fiddle playing, she calls these shivers. And I kind of, I listened to Natalie playing that, and I thought, what a great idea. Every now and then, it just, it's, it's sort of, you just put lots of short notes in. Instead of one long quaver, perhaps, you put long, lots of short notes in. And uh, it just adds a little bit to the music. So I'll play it again and I'll just show you where that, that shiver comes in. Three, four. There. Okay, so that's the A section of this tune. Okay, let's have a look at the B section of the tune now. This is the part I think that I was um, particularly asked to explain. So what I'll do is I'll play it full speed first of all and then slow it right down and kind of talk you through it so you can see exactly what it is I'm playing. But this is the full speed. explain first of all the technique you use which is a rolling technique so let's put our third our ring finger on the third note of the A string which is of course the note D leave it on and then place your first finger on the first note of the E string which is the F sharp and then we'll roll backwards and forwards from the D to the F sharp. Okay, so kind of bear that motion in mind. And then what you've got to do is keep your ring finger in the same position and roll it across. Just flatten it down across onto the E string so that I, you're going to play the note A. That one. So what we're going to do is this. So we're going to play this. Takes a bit of getting used to that because you're playing these, the D and the F sharp, and then you're rolling your finger across to the A playing the D and then back to the, the F sharp now you'll find that you might get a little bit of cramp in the old wrist just about there don't worry that's part and parcel of playing the fiddle and that's why you, you have to spend a lot of time practicing to to get your fingers and your joints and your wrist and everything else nice and flexible so that's the first part and then we're going to bring the uh, our, on the A string we're going to place our middle finger on the C and then we're going to play the open E 
Okay, and we're going to roll our middle finger across this time to play the G. Tricky, eh? I'm trying to show you that, how I do it. I try and get the camera angle right. There we are. I sort of just roll it across. It's something you have to, it's a technique you have to develop. Um, and it takes a bit of practice, trust me. It won't just happen overnight. It maybe takes quite a few uh, weeks of trial and error. But anyway, so you, you will end up with this. And then we go up to the A, uh, the B rather. So from the, the beginning of the B section, oh, sorry I'll play that again, from the beginning, shall I play it slightly slower, three, four. alternative way of playing the B section in the, and it's this okay I'll slow that down alternative section. I'll tell you why, because I've known this tune for many years and I struggle with that finger bending thing Bob, where you put a bar, a bar across two strings. I found that too difficult to do. So I played this alternative. way of playing the B section until I mastered the the original way so as you can see sometimes you have to adapt to tunes for your own playing style in, there's no need to you know to um, put yourself into a, a desperate situation if you're struggling to play a particular tune just work out an alternative way of playing it until you can develop the skill level to to play it the way that you really want to um, that's always stood me in good stead actually because um, I found over the years as my skill has developed and it's still developing I think um, it's it's good to try and find one way that gets you into playing a slightly more difficult technique perhaps so there we are la bastrang or la bastring i'm i apologize if i'm pronouncing the name of this tune incorrectly um but anyway i'm sure you understand what i'm talking about what the tune is about i'll play it once more and i'll try and keep it up to a speed uh, maybe i should go slightly um slower tempo first and then pick up a bit of steam three four
hope you found this lesson useful. Thank you for coming along and having a look at my channel. I do appreciate your views and your comments. And um, have a great day with your fiddle playing. Bye for now. See you again soon.